Hi guys, Paul here, and what we have for you today is the new Dominator HD2 goggles from Fat Shark. Now these goggles should actually be out shortly. Uh, they may actually already be out depending on the release date of this video. But essentially these are the new flagship goggles from Fat Shark. And what we're going to do is go through a quick unboxing and just run you through exactly what comes with these goggles and also run you through some of the specs. So what we'll do is take a look at the case itself. Now the case itself is actually quite impressive. Uh, the finish on it, I'm not sure how good this is going to come out on video, but look, it's really impressive as far as the look of it goes and the feel and the texture. Um, I'm not sure how well this is going to come out on the video, but look, as far as first impressions go, uh, this is quite impressive to say the least. And uh, what we'll do is get this guy open and actually have a look and see what comes with them. So as you can see, the case itself does have a lot of room in it. Okay, so the first thing in the box is your foam inserts that go around uh, the goggles itself. And this is essentially the part that's going to make contact with your face. So you're going to have to pick which one you want to choose. Uh, you've got two options here. You've got one that's just that uh, soft foam. So it's 100% soft foam. And then you've got the other one that's got like a neoprene backing and then uh, the softer foam on the outside, which is the part that makes uh, connection with your face itself. And obviously just peel away the uh, sticky backing and stick them onto the goggles. We have our Fat Shark cleaning cloth, obviously used to clean your lenses. And we also have a standard Fat Shark AV cable. Uh, most of you guys will be familiar with these, uh, basically video and left channel, right channel audio. We also have this small package and that appears to contain some HDMI connectors and I assume a charging connector. Let's get these guys open. So the first connector we have is a mini HDMI to HDMI connector. And we also have a mini HDMI to micro HDMI connector. And we also have our charging cable. Obviously this will connect up to your battery, that shark battery, and then you'll plug that straight into your LiPo charger. And we have our HDMI cable. So this looks to be just a standard HDMI cable. Looks like it's a mini HDMI to mini HDMI connector. And obviously you will use this cable if you're using a HD input, say from a Phantom um, 3, uh, something along those lines, or I suppose a uh, Inspire 1 or any other HDMI sort of input into your goggles. Now we also have our Fat Shark battery. Now this is significantly larger than the previous ones that we used last. So uh, it's got a little bit of weight to it. Let's get this guy out of the packaging and see exactly what we have. Uh, the battery itself is actually quite impressive. The uh, finish on it is actually quite nice. Um, what we have are these cutouts on the side. And they're obviously so it connects up and really locks into the head strap. Uh, that's a really, really good addition to the actual goggles. Now it's a 2S battery, 1800 milliamp hour battery. So I'm assuming this is going to last you quite a significant amount of time. And we also have a battery checker uh, built into the battery itself, which is fantastic. I absolutely love the idea of this. Looks like a lot of thoughts actually gone into this battery. So that's actually quite impressive that so much thoughts gone into something as insignificant as the battery itself. Let's get the star of the show out and have a good look at the goggles themselves. So these are the goggles. Uh, the finish on these is really, really quite nice. They're really nicely finished off. They feel quite solid in the hand. Definitely um, impressive, that's for sure. So what we have here is the button that actually starts up the fan. This is the fan that stops uh, any misting in the actual goggles themselves. And you've got to obviously plug in your balance connector into the jack behind it. We also have our head tracking button. Uh, and moving on to your DVR controller, which is your basically your start, stop, playback control for your analog DVR uh, recorder. We also have our volume control if you're running uh, earphones uh, with the uh, goggles and you're listening to audio from the aircraft. Followed by the channel selector if you have a video receiver uh, installed in these goggles. And finally we have the brightness uh, control, brightness contrast control and obviously uh, your um, modes button for the different video modes as in uh, 2D, 3D, HDMI input etc. And what we have on the side is your power supply. This is where your battery will actually connect up and also your AV in out. And moving on, 
uh, underneath what we have is your IPD adjustments uh, and these things actually feel quite solid um, so they're not going to slip and slide which is really really cool we have your data connector for your head tracking etc and we also have the internal receiver on off switch if you have an internal receiver actually uh, installed we also have the earphone jack and also a mini HDMI port and inside the goggles themselves what we have is your micro SD slot where you will actually install a micro SD card and you also have the recording um, indicator for the analog DVR recorder and finally this is where you'll actually hook up your balance plug uh, to power the fan unit so what we'll do is actually install the battery and uh, as you can see look the battery really locks in quite well on this there's no way no this is going to fall out so the problem you had with the previous uh, versions of um, Fat Shark or any other form of goggles where the batteries used to pop out, you're not going to have that with these guys. I really like the way they've done uh, the battery. So that's obviously where you hook up your balance plug for your fan. Uh, and we can power the goggles up. And here we go. And that's pretty much it. So hit the actual fan start stop button and the fan gets going so that's really really quite nice and i believe that's actually on a timer and we'll actually switch off i think after eight minutes or so so um it won't drain your battery flat which is a fantastic idea now one thing to watch out for is obviously while the fan's running you don't want to get your hair caught in there or anything like that um more that you'd probably do damage to the fan uh, than anything else but that's not really a big issue at all and on the side you can pop this guy out like so and that is where you'll actually place your module for the video system that you choose to use whether it be a 1.3 2.4 or 5.8 gigahertz receiver and on the opposite side we've got exactly the same thing uh, for your head tracking so uh, this is where the head tracking unit goes now the goggles themselves and the finish on them are really really quite good uh, putting them on uh, especially with this new head plate system that they've actually got uh, it sort of distributes the weight of the goggles along a larger section of your face so as a result the goggles don't feel as heavy on your face and they seem to be better better supported we've purchased a module for these guys so hopefully we get those in soon and once we've got the uh, 5.8 gigahertz module we can go out and actually uh, test fly with them and see exactly how we go with them and how comfortable they are especially with the warmer weather coming so um, goggles fogging up is going to become an issue as you start sweating etc so um, it's going to be a good test for the goggles themselves as far as other specifications on these goggles they feature eight piece optical set and it's a hybrid glass optics so that's basically some glass and some plastic optics uh, in these goggles now they're supposed to be a lot more forgiving as far as optics go uh, depending on your eye distance from the glass itself so it's going to be interesting to see how that goes we did some tests initially inside the house and um, both Thomas and I were able to get a good sharp focus on these goggles and once we get the actual module in there that'll be the real test when we get out on the field and actually use them they also feature a super cap which is essentially just a capacitor that stores a little bit of extra charge and what that enables you to do is if you are recording with the onboard DVR and at the end of the flight you've had a fantastic flight you're all excited and what you do is basically unplug your battery and think wow that was awesome uh, that holds enough charge to allow the DVR to actually uh, close the file off and then switch off the DVR so you don't actually corrupt the last portion of the footage so a really really great feature because that's the sort of thing that I typically do and I've done it with my other goggles too where I've actually gotten all excited and instead of stopping the recording I've actually just unplugged uh, the battery so really really like that feature now some of the other Fat Shark uh, DVRs I believe has some issues with recording uh, when it came to PAL and NTSC now this is supposed to be auto selecting so this resolves the issue so irrespective of whether you lock into someone's signal and they transmit transmitting a PAL or an NTSC signal uh, the DVR should actually cope with that without an issue at all anyway look I'll leave the video at that so these goggles are really going to be aimed at the upper end of the market uh, they are Fat Shark's flagship product uh, at this point in time and now having said that uh, these are going to be really geared around people that can a afford it and people who are going to be in the hobby for some time and they want a quality product so um, for people like Thomas and myself, uh, we'd be definitely looking at these and uh, depending on how we go with this, it's highly probable we're going to have to actually buy a second set of these goggles. Anyway, what I will do is leave the video at that and uh, we'll get the flight review of these done as soon as possible. 
Thanks very much for taking time to watch this video and we will catch you guys later.